A group of Dallas County inmates are waging a fight from behind bars. They filed a lawsuit claiming the county is discriminating against them for being poor. Only News 8's David Gowen spoke to them from inside the jail. My name is James Thompson. I'm Uriah Banks. I'm 26. They are just two faces. I have been incarcerated for four days. I've been in jail for about five, six days. Of a problem Dallas County leaders know is real. People get arrested for nonviolent offenses and end up sitting in jail for days because they can't afford a bond. My finances don't allow me to get out. You just sit here, just have to wait until I guess until I go to court. So James Thompson and Ariah Banks are both inmates and now plaintiffs in a lawsuit the ACLU of Texas filed this week against Dallas County's cash bail system. We've hired more staff. While he won't talk about ongoing litigation, County Judge Clay Jenkins says Dallas County has worked to improve its pretrial system, setting up individualized risk assessment to create a way for those who don't have the means to pay for a bond, a way out before trial. This afternoon, the ACLU of Texas says Dallas County's efforts have fallen short. There are hundreds of people locked in Dallas County jail every day under this policy and officials just aren't treating it with the urgency it deserves. Life period just stops. When I get out, I'll just have to basically start over. A federal judge last year found Harris County's cash bail system unconstitutional, saying it treated defendants charged with the same crime differently based solely on their ability to pay a bond. That case is still on appeal. Now Texas's second largest county jail is in court too. Hopefully um, that's what can happen here in Dallas and that, you know, going forward, we can have a better system that's more, uh, that's fair. David Goins, Channel 8 News.